up everyone what's going on today I'm gonna to be doing a current phase of nays video and um, I have a ton of stuff to talk to you guys about so I'm just gonna jump in starting off with the TV show that I just finished but I actually really really loved homeland I just finished season three I think season four is gonna be out in October but it's so good it's about the CIA homeland security all that good stuff and if you're interested in that type of stuff I know you will love this show I love Saul and Peter Quinn those are my two favorite characters Carrie you know I like her too but she gets really annoying when she just doesn't take an order they're like Carrie don't do it and she's just like F you I'm doing it and it just kind of bothers me sometimes but other than that it's a great show I love it you guys need to watch it um, so that's pretty much it for that now I'm gonna go over the rings that I've really been liking for the past several months now they're from forever 21 the first one is like a it comes in a set it has a knuckle ring and then just like a regular ring and it's kind of like a leafy viney type ring it's really pretty and then the second one is like this double midi ring so these have been my favorites and I wore I wore them today specifically so that I can show them to you but I really like them they're pretty um and that's all I got to say about them. On to the makeup stuff. We're getting into the good stuff. Um, I want to start off with the Physicians Formula Bronze Booster. This is in medium to dark. Oh god, and the brush just fell out. Okay, but it looks like this. It's really pretty. It reminds me a lot of the NYC Sunny Bronzer, but this has like a really nice like sheen. I don't know how to, it's not really a sheen either. I don't know how to describe it, but it's just really pretty and it gives like a really nice dimension to your face and it's very rich. Um, a little bit more so than the NYC Sunny Bronzer. I mean this is a lot more expensive but it's super pretty pretty <laughs> super pretty Leanne says uh, I don't know recommended this and I really like it so that's the first favorite and I just um, bronze my whole face with this I don't actually contour because I feel like it would be a little bit too orange and I'm super pale so contouring with this just wouldn't be good for me but it might work for you if you're a little bit darker so now I'm gonna go over the two primers that I've really been enjoying the first one is the L'Oreal Magic Lumi light infusing primer and I think I've mentioned this in like several of my videos this is by far my favorite drugstore primer it gives a beautiful dewy glowy look and it really helps for me because I have dry skin and I use two pretty mattifying foundations the Revlon Colorstay and the CoverGirl Outlast blah stay fabulous whatever it's called those are pretty mattifying so when I use this it kind of helps um, bring some dewy kind of glow look to my face so I really like it and I'll well I don't really use this when I have to wear my makeup for a really long time and when I have to wear my makeup for more than eight hours I'll use the Smashbox photo finish I've been sleeping on this primer it's been in my like little skincare drawer for a really long time and when I did my spring cleaning video I found it and I was like why haven't I used this so ever since then I've been loving it it keeps my makeup on all day and um, I like that because it also helps prevent like transfer like sometimes I'll wear my makeup and there'll be some on my shirt or like if I hug somebody my makeup will transfer onto their shirt and that's super embarrassing so this kind of helps my makeup stick on and prevent that transfer so these are my two favorite primers they're awesome you guys need to check them out and then um what am I gonna do next I don't know okay let's do one of the nays oh I have two nays by the way I usually like to mention that in the beginning of the video but I'm slacking today okay I have the L'Oreal Revita Lift Miracle Blur Instant Skin Smoother and I got this a really long time ago a lot of beauty people on YouTube um, talk about it and they're like this is awesome to me I don't know I didn't see any difference in my skin when I used it underneath my makeup it really didn't do anything for me and then when I used it alone still it's just like an extra step that I don't need so I regret buying this I'm thankful that I did buy the mini size this was like $6.99 if I would have spent the $20 on the big size I think I would have had a heart attack because this is just it, it doesn't do anything for me personally maybe it does wonderful things to you to me it's like nothing nothing in a little tube Okay, now I'm going to move on to a lighter note, the e.l.f. booster in sheer. I got this, I hauled this a while ago, and I use it to set my under eyes, and I really like it. It doesn't, it's not powdery, it's really finely milled, and it's just really, really pretty. It's like a pinky a pinky color and it's perfect for setting my under eyes so when my concealer it I mean depending on whatever concealer I'm using when it's still a little tacky like it's not fully dry but it's almost there I do this and it prevents it from um, like creasing 
it's amazing. So I really like this. It's like three bucks. You can't go wrong. You do have to order it online because uh, Targets and like Walmarts and Walgreens don't sell this. So eh, make a big order on Elf and it'll be worth it. Okay, I'm going to go over the body wash that I, I love it. It's like probably my favorite body wash ever. I've never been a like a big Dove body wash fan. This is like my first Dove body wash, but I was going to repurchase the Olay one that I used before this, but then I was like, you know what? It says gentle exfoliating. It's a nourishing body wash. It's exactly what I want because I have dry skin, but I still want to be able to exfoliate and not be so dry. Guys, this is like heaven in a bottle and it smells, it smells like a typical Dove product. Oh my god, but it's so, so good. Even my boyfriend was like, wow, your skin's really soft. I'm like, I know, it's this dang body wash. So yeah, it has little bees in it too, and it just feels so nice. It's not drying. You come out of the shower and you're just like, my skin is so soft. I love it. So if you guys need a new body wash, try this out. I promise you'll be in love with it. Like... This is the sh I'm going to continue on with like the skincare products. I have the Yes to Blueberries Age Refresh Eye Firming Treatment. I mentioned this in a couple videos, my foundation routine, my skincare routine. This is the bomb. I love it. I'm so glad that I bought this because my under eyes have never looked so good. I use this in the morning before I put my makeup on and then I use it at night before I go to bed and I don't have as many creases. My under eyes aren't as dry. Guys, oh, my under eyes were so dry. It was disgusting. Like I could have used the most moisturizing concealer and I would just have cracks. Like it was it was so gross and I was at Target and I just bought this and I I'm so happy that I did. And it says here that you'll see a difference um within like 7 days and that is so true. So true because after a week I was like wow my under eyes are like super nice and moisturized I'm so impressed with this product if you guys need a new eye cream just try this out if you don't like it you're crazy no I'm just kidding but it's really really good um, and yeah it's 95% natural paraben free you can't go wrong with it so definitely my favorite eye cream and I am new to the eye cream game this is my first ever eye cream and I love it so um, I'll try out some new ones and different ones but this by far this is working for me so I don't want to switch it up too soon you know last skincare item that I have is actually a nay and I talked about these in my makeup haul these are the first aid beauty facial radiance pads and when I uh, filmed that video it was like my third day using this and I was like you know I like it so far but I mean, it's been like, I don't know how long, and I haven't seen any, like, results. I don't, my skin looks the same. It hasn't really done anything for me, and it's not even like it feels good when you put it on your face, because at least if it felt good, you know, I would think that it was doing something, but it's kind of just like wiping your face with a wet cotton pad. That's all it is, and it's like, okay, I guess my skin is clean. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of these. I am going to use them up, because this was freaking expensive, guys. It was like 30 bucks and it's not doing anything for me, but I'm gonna finish it because I don't wanna waste my money. But on to this bad boy right here. He's my baby. It's Naked One, the original Naked Palette. For some reason, I've just been all about the Naked Palette the past couple of months. Um, I just recently did a tutorial using it, which will link down, which will be linked down in the description box, and I'll also link my previous Naked Palette um, eyeshadow tutorials because this is just a beautiful palette. You can do so many different looks, and I've just been gravitating toward it. And I've always been scared of Half Baked, which is like a really light kind of yellow gold and I kind of would just use it on the middle portion of my eyelid to give me some dimension but recently I've been putting that bad boy all over my lid and it looks so pretty a lot of you mentioned it in my tutorial saying that color looks amazing on you so thank you guys so much for giving me that confidence and I swear to god it's cracked all over my floor which is wonderful <laughs> just wonderful so now I'm going to quickly go over the two new YouTubers that I've been really liking. I'm still obsessed with Samage and Casey Holmes and, you know, those regular people. But these two new ones, um, the first one is I'm, I am just a makeup lover. And I found her because I was looking up some Naked 3 tutorials and she had three really, really good ones. So I'll leave her channel down below. And then I also have been loving, um, what's her YouTube name? Amanda Ensing. I think that's how you pronounce it, but she's so pretty and I love her tutorials as well. She has really nice videos, so you guys should check those two YouTubers out, even though you guys probably know both of them already, but whatever. 
it's all good. Now on to my favorite lip combinations. I have two of the L'Oreal. I think it's like their wet caress stains. But the first one is in Pink Perseverance. And when I want just a really pale pink uh, lip, I will use this one and I'll layer it. So I'll do one coat, which is very light, if you can see it right here next to Half Baked. And then I'll layer it a second time to give it a little bit more color. And then on top of that, I will use Maybelline's um, Polished Petal, which is one of their color elixirs. And um, I think this is limited edition. It was part of their nude collection. And I'm kind of um, upset about that because this is one of my favorite glosses ever. It's a really beautiful pale pink. It's right here. It goes with any lip color. You can brighten up or you can lighten up a lip with this, like a bolder lipstick. It's so pretty. Um, I swear, I really hope it's not limited edition because I love it so much. I'm going to have to buy a new one if I find it. But if I want more of like a purpley pink lip, a little bit um, like more color than the Pink Perseverance, I'll use L'Oreal's Wet Caress Stain in Stubborn Plum. And this is just a really like light, kind of violety, radiant orchid color. I'm a I'm like destroying this swatch right here, but it's this one right here. It's so pretty, and I'll layer this one twice as well, and I will use this bad boy, the Maybelline Color Elixir, and I put that right on top, so it's like more of a, like a light kind of purple. It's so pretty, guys. I love this color elixir. It's amazing, and the wet caress stains are really, really nice, too. Um, when you first put it on, it's kind of glossy, and then it kind of dries up pretty quickly, they're just pretty. These three lip colors are the bomb. You guys need to try them out. So now on to my favorite nail polish that I've worn within the past two months. It's Essie's Borrowed in Blue, and it's so pretty. It's a light pale blue. It looks so good on your nails. It looks so good on the toes, too, and it's a very clean, fresh nail polish. Um, I really like it, and right now I'm wearing uh, Wet n Wild's I Need a Refreshment, which is one of my all-time favorite Wet n Wild nail polishes ever. It's so pretty, but um, Essie's Borrowed in Blue is just... <sighs> It's beautiful. It's a very feminine, kind of light blue shade. You guys need to try it out. It's amazing. I found this at Ulta. So that's it for my favorites video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what your favorites are down below, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace!